Alison Mack, who starred on Smallville from 2001 to 2011, was arrested for her alleged involvement in a sex cult called Nsivem, according to the New York Post. News of her arrest comes almost one month after the cult's leader, Keith Ranier, was also caught by police in Mexico. Allison was at the Mexican resort with Keith when he was handcuffed and taken back to Texas with cops. The actress is facing charges of sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy and conspiracy to commit forced labor. When Keith was arrested, he was charged with sex trafficking and forced labor conspiracy. He allegedly headed the cult, which Allison was allegedly joined in 2006. She was rumored to be a high-ranking member of the organization, and allegedly often considered as Keith's second-in-command. After Keith was arrested, it was reported that Allison would be taking over as leader of the cult. It is unclear what will happen now that she has reportedly been booked, as well. The Nzivem cult began making headlines at the end of 2017, when actress Catherine Oxenberg revealed that her 26-year-old daughter, India, was a member. She issued a desperate, public plea to help her get India out of the allegedly horrific organization. Members of the cult were allegedly forced to have sex with Keith, and were then branded with a secret symbol featuring his and Alison's initials, a very painful process. Alison allegedly formed her own sect of Nzivem called DOS. Members allegedly had to provide her with incriminating information about themselves and their families, and were blackmailed with the exposure of this information if they threatened to leave. Members of Nzivem and DOS are allegedly subjected to master-slave conditions and forced to live on starvation diets of less than 800 calories a day. Frank Parlato the journalist who first published the horrors of Nzivem and used to work as the group's publicist, tells Hollywood Life exclusively that Allison and India, Oxenberg, made a pact to stand up for Keith, even if it meant being put behind bars. She believes she's doing good work and that she's helping to save the world by helping Keith.